Hello again, back with another case video for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Uh, this is from a brand called Toro, or Toro. And it has the extra R there. I'm not sure why, but there's a little Torito right there. Okay, so it's a phone case compatible with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. It is described as a premium leather wallet case with stand function and card slots. Uh, it runs on Amazon in color black with the red stitching and the red little logo there for $37.99. So that's what you're going to pay for it, $37.99. Okay, so let's unbox it and check it out. I was kind of curious uh, about it because I was looking for something that would lay flat uh, when so that when you write with the S Pen, uh, it would, you know, when you have the hinge protection, it doesn't always lay flat because you have that sort of protection you have to take off the back portion of the cases sometimes. So this is kind of a, you know, it's a tough one uh, in terms of finding the right case. If you want hinge protection, this might be an option because it has the, the whole of the foam covered up. So it has microfiber lining there, Z Fold 5, and there's the stand portion. So we'll check that out as well. There's the functionality. You can put some bills in there as well as cards if you still carry paper money. And it's got the cutout. So let's check it out. And nice little branding there. Let's see the quality of it. Okay, so it comes in this box here. It's pretty uh, stuffed, so I'm probably got another return. Hashtag Dodo Story. You can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or X or whatever it was that that dude named it. Okay, so here we go. Dodo. Okay, as far as premium leather, you know, I'm not saying it's $100 quality, but for 38 bucks, this is about as premium as you're going to get. It actually feels okay. It doesn't feel cheap like some of the so-called premium leather cases you might buy for phones that are really crappy. Um, it doesn't feel as stretched out. I don't know if you, if you feel like the iPhone leather cases. The old ones were nice. The new ones are crap. And it, it doesn't feel cheap and stretched out like that. It actually feels better. So that's good. Nice red stitching here. Little Toro label. Got some silica gel and some internals. Nice felt here with the little Torito in the middle there. Oh, this is good. This is interesting here. This is like, oh, it's just a little piece of Toro leather. Okay. I have to clip that off later. Um, this is kind of like a hard plastic. It's not cheapy, flimsy hard plastic but it's hard plastic. It's not like that kind of cheap one that they had on a couple of the knockoff cases, um, but it is still not the best. It's a little bit cheap. And it has like a like a back, it's got like a sticker, a faux leather sticker back here. Kind of like a D-brand skin type of thing on the back. Felt here. Yeah, it's okay. Not bad. Feels okay. So let's get the phone in there. Okay, pop slab and slides right in there. Okay, so... That is uh, not bad. Fits in pretty well. It doesn't cover the top, so just so you know, you're not going to get any protection here, but you have the protection of the case itself. So I'm not sure. These phone cases, oddly enough, tend to do okay on drops. Not that you know this has drop protection or is announcing drop protection, but just because of the way that they're designed. Uh, yeah, it, you know, I think it would have been nice if they would have just put a frame here because I think it wouldn't have interfered too much. Because you see how it bows there? There's some space. There's a gap. See that? You can see right through it. Yeah, there's a little gap there. Yeah, I mean, you would have to put you would put cards in there, so that would fill it up a little bit. But a thin frame around this wouldn't have been so bad. In fact, I have my my frame from my Libigo case. Let me grab that real quick. Um, yeah, see, so here we go. This is not with the this does not come with the case. I'm just trying it out. Yeah, uh, this might be. Oh yeah, see that would have been perfect, and you could still have fit a card, and it would have been fine. They wouldn't have interfered with, with that. I wonder if the pen would fit in there. Kind of slot the pen in. Okay, well this is not an advertised function, but well, kind of sliding out now. But you might have been able to fit the pen in there too. They would have made like the frame that hold the pen. That would have been nice. This does not come with the case. Just. This does not come with it. I was just trying it out just out of curiosity, but that's kind of interesting. You can make a DIY case out of this. Um, 
Again, cutouts are fine here. You don't need to worry about the top. Cutouts are fine there. Just kind of slide it in a little bit more and you're good to go. Camera is fine, flash is fine. This little extra piece here, just a little something decor decorative. So this is kind of what I was hoping for, which was when you open it up and you lay it flat, you have some S Pen functionality and you don't feel like you have to take off the back portion. So the Vahibi case that I reviewed, it has the S Pen protector in the back, but when you lay it down flat, you have this big old kind of, like it holds the S Pen, but now you have to take this portion off to lay it flat. With this case, you don't have to worry about it because you lay it flat and it's flat, right? So if you have the S Pen with you, you can actually take notes. In that way, it does provide, so it, you know, if you want hinge protection, but you still want a flat case, when you write, this wallet case might be the solution. Uh, and it's not bad, it's not bad. It, I, you know, this is a little flimsy-ish here, but it's not bad, it's not a bad option at all. So yeah, let's do the, the kickstand function because it, it advertised that as well, so let me focus back on the, okay, so then you kind of just prop it up. Okay, so you prop it up like that. And it has like a little, it feels like it's magnetized right here. Okay, so it kind of sticks there. I'm not sure there's like something there, kind of like maybe it's just the phone itself that's holding to. And there you have it. So it's only gonna go one way. So your, when it is in kickstand mode, your volume is gonna be here on the bot on the bottom portion. So make sure that whatever volume we want it on, it's on there. And then there you go. Yeah, it's not flimsy at all. It actually holds up pretty well. This is an interesting option. If you want a wallet, I'm not big on wallet cases, but it's something to think about, especially given that when you, you know, it gives you good solid enough protection. And if you want something flat, then you'll have something flat when you want to write with the S Pen. Hmm, not bad. Anyway, Dodo brand case, um, $37.99 on Amazon. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. If you want a wallet case, give it a shot. This is it doesn't feel as cheap. It's it's solid enough for 38 bucks. It's $38 worth. Um, yeah, I would give it a shot. It's interesting. Interesting option. Okay, well, that's all for now. I hope you're well. Hope your family's well. And uh see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye.